Well, I didn't sleep too badly after the ghost settled down. But you kept tossing. I was worried about where the ghost had settled. Martha? Uh, maybe I better go check on Darren. Samantha, that is exactly the wrong thing to do. Make him come to you. Here they come now. Remember, play it cool. Now you make him apologize, you hear? Morning. Louise? Morning. Morning, Larry. Morning, Sam. Good morning. Darren. Good morning. Ducky. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you. Now, wait a minute, Samantha. Darren's very upset about what happened last night. He wants to kiss and make up, don't you? I sure do. Well, I don't. Samantha, Darren is apologizing. Darren is not apologizing. <laughs> the acoustics in here are very peculiar. I could have sworn I heard him apologize. There's only one way he can make up with me. And he knows what it is. I'm sorry, but I'm not ready to give up the ghost. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Oh, Larry, stop prying. I'm sorry, I forgot. You're in charge of that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We should be serving the hunt breakfast at 11 o'clock promptly. Well, I trust that you heard the ghost last night. We certainly did. I'm delighted the ghost was in such good form. Terribly temperamental, you know. <laughs> Sometimes we don't hear from the old boy for days. Did it ever occur to you that the old boy might be tired? Tired? Oh, oh, oh tired? A ghost? Oh, that's very good. I don't think a ghost ever gets tired, my dear fellow. Now, how would you know? <laughs> well... I suppose you're entitled to your own opinion. Excuse me, Your Grace, but Cook isn't at all happy with the marketing you did. Holy terror, that woman, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. What's the matter with you? Why'd you get so uptight about such a dumb thing as a ghost? Because that's the way I felt. And for your information, a ghost is not a dumb thing. <laughs> Why do you sound funny? Funny? Yeah. Where'd you pick up that fake English accent? This is not a fake accent. Darren, calm down. And I'm tired of you telling me what to do. <laughs> Maybe I better go after him. Sit still, Samantha. The worst thing you can do is chase after him. Now, you let me talk to him. Now, wait a minute, Louise. I don't no, think that's Samantha, such a good idea. Samantha, let her handle it. Well, he's in a very ugly mood. Well, when it comes to handling ugly moods, Louise is a specialist. She's been handling mine for years. <laughs> Darren, may I talk to you? Why not? Sit down, Ducky. <laughs> You not only don't act like yourself, you don't sound like yourself. No. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I got carried away with the atmosphere. What on earth has gotten into you? Nothing. On earth, that is. Well, I feel awful. Samantha's not only my best friend, but, well, she's one of the sweetest women I've ever known. You're pretty sweet yourself. Oh, Darren, I'm serious. What makes you think I'm not? Just hope he doesn't say anything to offend her. I wouldn't worry about it. Louise has a pretty tough hide. <laughs> well? Samantha, you're right. He's not himself. Why? What did he do? Well, I was having a talk with him trying to make him realize how unfair he was being to you, and then all of a sudden... He... Yeah? I can't even talk about it. Louise, you'd better tell us, because if you don't, we'll start imagining something ridiculous, like he was making a pass at you. And why is that so ridiculous? Well, because you're old enough to be Darren's... Don't say it. Why not? Sister. 